Hello there, my name's Dane Lemaitre. Uh, welcome to the Box Turtle Collection update. Uh, update 22, would you believe? Um, so I've got most of the turtles now, but there's still the odd few here and there, um, as you can see in this video that I've got. And then I've also got a duplicate of another one that I had, um, as you'll see in this video. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please enjoy. So here you can see um, I've got some more Ertl um, characters. Um, and so and you've probably seen, obviously seen from all my other videos that I've got quite a massive uh, collection of Ertls now as well. Um, but so these are a few more that I've got. Um, and I've also managed to get a D7101 there, as you can see. Um, I do actually have that model already, as you've probably seen from another video. Um, but this one was actually cheaper than the other one. And because it was a rare one, I decided to uh, treat myself and get it. And uh, I really like this model of D7101. There's a bit of a bit of a thing, a uh, part of a price tag there. I mean, if I wanted to, I could easily get rid of that. But I think I'm just going to leave it there, to be honest. Um, and there's the back of the box, and it says this was 2003, which is when this was actually released. And what I found is with the newer ones, like this one, because um, the range was discontinued in 2004, and the ones that were released between 2003 and 2004. Um, were a lot more rare because there wasn't as many made of them uh, quantity wise um, so to get them in the box um, is absolutely put superb um, as I said um, Diesel D7101 was uh, only seen in the railway series um, and this is him when he was painted blue uh, later on they painted him green uh, the proper high met colours and uh, he actually reminds me um, although it's not the same type of locomotive, he reminds me of the Class 31 um, diesel that I once had the pleasure of driving over at Rushden. Um, you can see that video on my channel, but no, I mean, I'd say I was more of a steam enthusiast than a diesel one, um, but I do like some of the old diesels, um, particularly this one. Um, like I, said, I was really obviously pleased to be able to drive one, um, and as you can see, it's got a new item sticker, and between 2003 2004, um, the new engines came with uh, these on them. Um, but yeah, that's D7101. Uh, so it's the one I'm quite pleased to have. Um, and as you can see at the top here, um, I've got a couple of the Ertl miniature play sets. Um, and this one comes with Percy. And uh, this Percy is very, very small indeed, um, and the face on him uh, looks exactly like his face uh, from the TV series, um, although it's actually quite hard to see, but for a small model, um, the detail on this isn't actually too bad. Um, it also comes with a station, as you can see there, and that station reminds me of one of the stations that um, was seen in the television series back in the model era. Um, and if you turn over the, over on the back, you can see more uh, miniature play sets. And the idea is you can connect them together and make a huge, uh, sort of, I say, as they call it, a world. Um, and it says that this was released uh, in 2002, which you can see just there. Um, and again, these ones um, are quite rare, but I do actually remember seeing these um, advertised um, on the back of posters. And it, it, on magazines, for in magazines, um, on Earth advertisements. Um, but yeah, that was uh, Percy. Uh, the next one I got was one of uh, Toby and Harold. Um, and it actually comes with a little helipad there for Harold to land on, uh, and like an airfield type thing. Um, yeah, and again, Harold's only small, but the detail on him um, is absolutely superb. I mean, it looks just like what Harold looked like uh, in the TV series, I think it's fair to say. We've also got a nice uh, little model of Toby. Um, and again, Toby's always been one of my favourite uh, characters. Um, and he's getting more parts now in the CGI series. Um, and he's also voiced by an actor called Rob Rackstraw. 
um, who voices lots of different characters and I think does quite a good job. Again, this was released uh, around the same time as Percy 2002. Um, but yeah, I do like this, these little miniature sets that they did. I think they're really uh, unique, and again, you can connect them and one thing and another. Um, but yeah, that was my Toby. Um, I've actually got another one, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Um, then I've got some quite some more rare ones, I think it's fair to say. Um, so I've got Henry, and this is actually a wind-up one, but as you can see, it is made by Ertl. And the packaging's a bit different. Uh, and on the back it says all the other ones you can get, which I have. And then it says the other wind-up ones you can get. And I do actually have a, a Fat Controller um, walking one. You've probably seen from another video that I've done. Um, and it says this was made in 1993, which uh, was the year that I was born. And as you probably remember me mentioning before. Um, and this model, you can probably see, the wheel arrangement isn't 100% correct, but I do actually like the face uh, on Henry. Um, it looks just like what he did like in the TV series. Uh, and also, I think his actual main sort of like body in his boiler um, is quite uh, good, and it looks just like again what it like uh, in the TV series, in both the uh, model era and also speaking for the uh, CGI series as well. I think it's fair to say. Um, but yeah, that was Henry. I say I also got Percy. Um, so again, it comes in the same type of packaging. And again, Percy's face is quite good. Uh, but it reminds me of what it looked like again uh, in the TV series of the show. Um, and I think Percy is definitely a lot better than uh, Henry in some respects. Although um, I'm not too sure what to make of his buffers, because his buffers are just sort of like stumps, uh, black stumps, so not 100% accurate. But again, I don't think it's such a bad model. Um, again, back of the box is exactly the same, pretty much. Um, now, the last one I got here, um, again, one of my favourite ones. Um, I got Toby again. And again, I like the face on this model, Toby. It looks just like what it looked like uh, in the TV series back in the model era. Um, and this is the same sort of packaging almost, as you can probably tell, as this one. But only it says motorised, uh, not wind up, because it is motorised. Um, I didn't actually know that they did Toby in the motorised uh, range in at all. And like I said, these are my favourites, so I'm quite pleased to have this. And then uh, yeah, it shows you how to operate it, if you're not too sure. Um, and then again, it, it talks about the uh, collectible range. And I assume when it says the collectible range, it means just the normal sort of hurdles in boxes, as I discussed before. Um, but like I said, that's Toby. Um, and I actually got these from the same uh, person that I brought, you may have seen in my previous video, all the stuff from the Thomas Club. Um, but yeah, that video can be seen on my channel, so please watch it if you haven't watched it already. So here I have my last one I got again from the same seller. Um, I got Duck and the Watermill. And for quite a small model again, it's not a bad model of Duck. And it sort of reminds me of what Duck looked like uh, again in the TV series of the show back in the model era. Uh, you've also got a nice uh, building of the water mill there. And again, the water mill was seen in the TV series Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, yeah, and so considering how small these are, these are actually quite nice. Um, I do like them, the detail they're going to. And again, it's made by uh, Torging Seeders there. And if you turn over, the back of the box again is exactly the same as the ones on the Minch, Toby and Percy. And again, it says it's made in 2002. And so there's not a huge amount to say, really, other than, say, again, these are really, really well detailed. 
Um, and I'm quite pleased with the result of them uh, overall. Um, so that's all the uh, tools that I've got for the time being, but I have got something else that I do wish to show you. And that is this. Um, I picked up this model of Corgi Brum. Um, and you may have seen already from one of my other videos, I do have another model of Brum um, in the box, but the packaging is slightly different. Um, again, Brum, when it was on the TV, um, the TV series was made and, and Brum was actually a model, um, which is now housed at the Cotswold Motoring Museum. Um, and I was very lucky enough a couple of years ago to see it. Um, again, you can see that full video on my channel, so please check it out if you haven't. Um, but something different about this model of Brum is that his headlamps, as you can see, they're yellow, whereas the other quality ones are white. And I assume that they're yellow to represent them sort of like being switched on. Um, but let's say this is a model by Corgi, um, one that I'm quite pleased to have. Um, so like I said, thank you very much for watching this video uh, and goodbye.